This is the second section of chapter nine on trigonometric ratios, and this section is about the sine rule. So here's our labeled up triangle, and we're gonna use this form of the sine rule for when we want to find angles, and this form of the sine rule for when we want to find sides. Now, how do we know when to use the sine rule? Well, you'll notice we've got like a pair, we've got a side and its opposite angle together uh, in a pair, in the sine rule. So that's when we're gonna know we're gonna use the sine rule is when we have, let's say for example, this angle and this side together as a pair. And then let's say uh, this side and this angle together as a pair. And there's going to be one value missing from those two pairs. Yeah, so we're looking for a pair matching like this and one value from these two pairs will be missing. So it might be that this angle here is missing from the pairs and that's the angle we need to find. Or it might be that this side is missing or we need to find it from these pairs. So look for these opposite side angles pairings. Example five in triangle ABC, AB is eight centimeters, angle BAC is 30 degrees, and angle BCA is 40 degrees, find side BC. So we're gonna start with a sketch. So remember, if this sketch is accurate, it doesn't really matter too much. It just gives us some idea of what it looks like. So let's just label this as A, B, and C. Side AB is eight centimeters. Angle BAC, so that's this angle here, is 30 degrees and angle BCA, which is the angle here to the right, is 40 degrees. And we need to find side BC. So we're trying to find this side here. So we're looking for these opposite side angle pairings. So I have this side angle pair here, and I have this side angle pair here, and you can see that the value that's missing from the pairing is this one. Now, since I want to find the length of a side, I'm going to use this form of the sine rule. A over sine A equals B over sine B. Now, we're not gonna to worry too much about how the letters match up with this triangle here. It's about getting the values in the right place. So in this bit here, I want to put the pair that I do know. So that's this pair here. So eight centimeters and 40 degrees. So eight over sine 40. Okay, in the second pairing is going to be the thing that's missing. So where I've got B here, I'm gonna put BC, because that's the pairing and sine 30. So all I need to do is to rearrange this so that I can find BC. So the first thing I'm going to do is to times both sides by sine 30, get rid of that denominator. So times by sine 30, and that equals BC. And then we can just calculate that on our calculator. So the full answer I'll get on my calculator, 6.2228, and then there's a line, but I'll put dot, dot, dot there. Round it to three significant figures. So the length of BC is 6.22 centimeters and that's three significant figures. Example six in triangle ABC, AB equals 3.8 centimeters, BC 5.2 centimeters, angle BAC 35 degrees, find angle ABC. So sketch again like this, even if the sides aren't straight. So uh, angles ABC, Side AB is 3.8 centimeters. So I'll put that in. Side BC is 5.2 centimeters. Angle BAC is 35 degrees. So I'll put 35 degrees in here. And we're trying to find angle ABC. So we're trying to find this angle here. Now, I do have a pairing here. So this angle and this side, that's the side angle pair that go together. 
But you'll notice that I don't know this side, so I haven't got a side to pair up with this, and I haven't got an angle, it seems, to pair up with this angle here. But what I can do is I can work out what this angle is here, the one I've highlighted in green, and then once I've got that angle, I can take them both away from 180 to find this angle here. So actually we're gonna start by finding angle um, C and use that to find angle B. So this one, we can't get it directly, but it's not too difficult to work out what this angle is once we have these two. So since we're starting off by finding an angle, I'm gonna use this form of the sine rule, sine A over A equals sine B over B. So I will have, um, first of all, the pairing that I do know. So that will be sine 35 over A, and its pair is 5.2. And then sine B, well, that's gonna be the sine of the angle that I want to find first. And in my diagram, it's C divided by its side pairing, which is 3.8. Okay, so first thing, we're going to multiply both sides by 3.8. So we've got sine 35 over 5.2 times by 3.8 is going to equal sine C. Okay, so let's start by writing down the value of sine C. And that's naught, whoops, let's try again, 0.4191 dot dot dot. Now, I'm not going to round this because I'm actually going to do the sine inverse of that. So sine inverse of, and I'll just put 0.4191 dot dot dot, because I'm going to do sine inverse of answer to get the exact value. So sine inverse answer, and that will give me 24.7810 dot 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 degrees. So that's the size of this angle. Now the angle that we want, angle ABC, is going to be equal to 180 minus 35 minus this angle here. So minus 24.7810. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 180 minus 35 minus answer. So the full answer that I get is 120.2189. Um, three significant figures, so it means that the angle ABC will be 120 degrees to three significant figures. So you should now be able to do exercise 9B on pages 181 to 183. Now we're going to move on to something called the ambiguous case. Now, ambiguous means not clear. So what I've got here are two sides of a triangle. And let's say I wanted to draw a third side of a particular length. Let's say I wanted to draw a third side that was this length. Okay, so I'll pull that side in there. There is another place where that angle, could, that side could be drawn that is exactly the same length so I could draw it here. Maybe easier if I highlight it in a different color. So there we go. And both of these triangles have the same thing in con common. So they both have this angle the same. Okay, so I'm talking about this triangle here. Yeah, they both have this uh, tri uh, angle the same in this triangle here, which I'm outlining. And this triangle here, the bigger one, which I'm outlining, they both have this side the same length in both of those triangles. So this side here is the same length in this triangle here. And this triangle here. And they also have um, this side the same length. So either this one here or this one here. So effectively what we've got, we've got two different triangles with the same angle and with two sides the same. Now, if we were to use the sine rule, we could end up 
I have a fine in this angle here in this triangle. Yeah, or we could end up finding this angle here in the other triangle. One of these angles is going to be an acute angle. And the other one is going to be an obtuse angle. Now, the link between these two angles here is that they both add up to 180. How do we know that? Well, this is an isosceles triangle here. So whatever angle this is, this is the same two angles on a straight line add up to 180. So this obtuse angle and the acute angle add up to 180. So it means if our calculator gives us one angle, we want to find the other. If we do 180 minus the acute angle, it will give us the obtuse angle. And if we do 180 minus the obtuse angle, it will give us the acute angle. So we just need to be aware that our calculator may give us the acute angle and actually what we want is the obtuse one. So we can just use this little rule here to be able to convert from one to the other. Example seven, in triangle ABC, AB is four centimeters, AC three centimeters, and angle ABC 44 degrees, work out two possible values for angle ACB. Okay, now we're gonna draw a sketch. We don't necessarily need a sketch. This maybe will just help us decide where the numbers go. So side A, B is four centimeters, A, C is three centimeters. So already you can see it's not accurate, but that doesn't matter. And angle A, B, C is 44 degrees here. And we want to work out two possible values for angle A, C, B. So this angle here. So since we're finding an angle, we'll use this form of the sine rule, sine A over A equals sine B over sine B. We'll find our pairings. So this is the pair that go together. So that will be sine 44 over three equals, and then we've got our other pairing, and this is the unknown. So it's gonna be sine, now in this case, it's angle C or angle ACB. I'll just put C, so sine C over its paired side, which is four. So what I'm gonna do from here times both sides by four. So I'll have sine 44 over three times by four equals sine C. So that will give me sine C equaling 0.9262 six two dot 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 so i'm going to do the sine inverse of that sine inverse of my answer to find angle c and at 67.8517 dot 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 so this is one value so you can see this is acute to find your obtuse angle it could be i just need to do 180 minus that so we'll just write down one answer a rounded answer as 67.9 degrees, 67.9 degrees. Now we're going to do um, 180 minus the answer my calculator, 67.8715 dot dot dot. That gives me exactly 112.1482 dot dot dot. So then my other answer rounded to three significant figures, or since it's an angle, one decimal place, either one is fine. So let's go for one decimal place. So 112.1 degrees. So these are gonna be my two possible values. Now, whenever we do sine inverse, our calculator is always going to give us the acute angle, not the obtuse one. So if you need the obtuse one, then we'll just do 180 minus what our calculator gave us. So you should now be able to do exercise 9C on pages 184 to 185 of the textbook.